Hello everybody, how we all doing today? It is Extra Derpy, and today I'm bringing you another gameplay slash commentary. And this gameplay is on Black Ops 1. I have not played this game in forever, but I decided to play it, and I got this pretty good gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I was using a Galil with, I believe, Tiger Camo. So yeah, enjoy the gameplay. I love playing it, and I still love playing Black Ops. It's my favorite game, my first Call of Duty that I ever played, so... It's, of course, probably going to be my favorite game. My second one being Modern Warfare 3. My third favorite being World at War, which I unfortunately traded in for COD 4, which was a huge mistake. Because, I don't know, I just don't like it as much as I do World at War. But today, I'm going to be talking about the future of Call of Duty. And this is basically a question for you guys. What do you think is going to happen to the future of Call of Duty in the next, let's say, one to five years? I mean... What are they going to make? What kind of games are they going to make? Like, I have no clue. Are they going to keep going futuristic? Or will they, like White Boy said, maybe do one again from World War II? Because I would really enjoy that as well. You know, all the futuristic games are, you know, great and all. But if you go back to World at War and you play a few games where there aren't hackers, it's just so unbelievably fun. It's chill. It's medium-paced. It depends on how you play it. it it's whatever you make of it. It can be really fast-paced, it can be really chill gaming, and I like to do chill gaming most of the time, so it's really fun for me, but since I sold World at War, I can't really play it anymore, so sometimes I play COD 4 just to get that chill pace again, because every Call of Duty now is intended to be fast-paced, constant action, closer spawns, smaller maps, so you can always have action non-stop in the game. And, you know, that's great and all, that's good for uh, constant entertainment in the video game, but for me, it's just not working. It's a little too fast-paced, you know, it's a little rushed, and that's how I feel with it. So, what do you guys think is going to happen to the future of Call of Duty? Are they going to go out? Are they going to do different styles of gaming? Are they going to do more futuristic games? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to do futur futuristic games, not to the point of, like, Halo or a kill zone or something like that, but you know, maybe like 2040 or something like that. Because I just really hope that they go back to World War II, World War One, stuff like that. Because that would be really fun. It would bring back the good days if they don't make the games too complicated. And that's another thing. The games were always the best when they were just when they were simple. And don't get me wrong, advanced is good, but they pretty much have to go advanced with all their stuff because. In a franchise, if you don't get more advanced in your, or technical, or whatever you want to call it in your games, it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over. So they have to get more advanced in each game, more stuff, more perks, more kill streaks, more maps, stuff like that. Because they have to make their money somehow. So, in, your, in the comments below, tell me what you think is going to happen to Call of Duty in the next few years. Personally, I believe they're going to be making more futuristic games and I don't really think they're gonna make a game back in World War 2 or World War 1 but you know I'm really hoping they do because doing stuff like that is it's just so much fun you know playing back when I started playing World at War maybe a few months after I started playing Black Ops now was probably the greatest time of my life you know I had so much fun with it I could play it hours on hours on hours without getting mad if I didn't get into lobbies with any hackers or stuff like that and I would just have so much fun with it you know I mean have you guys ever felt that feeling before where you just can play an older Call of Duty game for hours upon hours and just have so much fun with it and never be tired of it I mean I can still do that with um Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 but you know I'll just get bored of it after a while and I'll just get sick of it I'll get mad over stupid things I'll get mad over the people who are really good. I'll get mad over bad connection. And, you know, it can just get frustrating. That's when I go back to the older games where I just shut off my PlayStation and do other random things. And, yeah, just tell me in the comments what you think. That's, this is just my personal opinion. I mean, I don't think Call of Duty is going to go much on for very long or if they keep doing the same things over and over. They have to keep advancing, unfortunately. I mean, they could do throwback games, I guess. I mean, it'd be cool if they made World at War for PS4. Because 
you know, I'd really enjoy that. <laughs> just World at War. It was just like a really good game. I really enjoyed it. And tell me what you guys think. That's pretty much all I had to talk about for this commentary. And I might start posting videos weekly instead of daily because I have school coming up soon. And my parents, for some reason, don't allow me to play video games during the week. They say it's a distraction to all uh, my schoolwork. So, yeah, I might be posting weekly instead of daily when school starts, and that starts August 19th. So, sorry about that, guys. If I do start posting weekly, I'll try my best to post videos. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, because I certainly did. Later, guys.